What's going on everybody? So everybody loves these junkyard videos and the car count videos and stuff at the junkyard. So we're gonna do exactly that today. A lot of good stuff in here. So let's go ahead and get started. Got that uh, late 80s, early 90s Chevrolet uh, 1500. Transmission slipping in overdrive. Runs and drives. Got this Ford LTD, complete car, and a little rough around the rooftop. Maybe it was one of those, uh, what are those, the, the vinyl top or something, and it rotted. Other than that, solid car, complete. Got this Ford. This is one of them the Galaxies. Uh, something. I'm not real good on old Fords. Whatever it is, it's here. And uh, it's complete. It's for sale. 352 badges on the door. Dodge Duran Caravan runs and drives. Cold AC has a little skip. Ford Crown Victoria. You should know all about these by now, guys. We're actually thinking about saving this one. I saved the last one from here. But check out this interior. So much nicer than my last one. On that? Uh, if you get it all cleaned up, put corner lights in it, touch up the trim, and make it look pretty, put it back up for about 15. Okay. Tim's still wanting it yeah. if you don't. Well, Tom, I'm, I don't, all I'm doing, I'm trying to buy a car to flip it because Alan's got money and an investment right now. Gotcha. So, um, all the cars, the, uh, the Nissan, the van, Alan's truck, and the Mitsubishi, I can buy them all for $1,500. That's not bad. No. We'll get to those in a minute, guys, and show you what he's talking about. Alrighty. Honda minivan, bad transmission, Oldsmobile Bravado, not sure on it. Ford uh, Tempo. When's the last time you've seen a Tempo? This thing runs and it drives. It's for sale, I think 500 bucks. If you know anybody that needs a good Tempo. Or just a good beat around car. I mean, it's a little rough. Automatic, manual windows, has air conditioning, missing a driver mirror, some dents and dings, faded paint, but 500 bucks, get you what you get you. Honda Odyssey minivan. This one just came in. This is an 06. Pretty good shape. Back windows busted out. That's the only damage on the whole car. Full leather interior. Power everything. No sat nav though, unfortunately. Got cold air. Fully loaded. It's got like 112,000 miles on it. I think this is going for like 900 bucks. So if you need an 06 Honda minivan. The other Galaxy 500 just chilling. It's a parts car, but it's 2300 bucks. A little steep on my blood. Let's get back over here. The aluminum minivan has already been bought. Daddy bought that one. We're gonna fix it and sell it. I need a, a Yamaha four-wheeler. It's a 350 four-wheeler, four-wheel drive. $400. Let us know. Uh, Nissan Sentra. That's the junkyard car, by the way. That just that we just use that to go get parts. So the neon is not for sale. It's too rotten. We couldn't sell it. But the Nissan Sentra, complete car, runs and drives. The original owner junked it. Automatic. Got a dinger going on. This one might actually start. Nope, battery dead. Smells like fucking ball sweat in here. Nasty as shit. But has air conditioning, runs and drives. You throw some damn spray bombs in there, get all the smell out, have a good car. It's for sale too, but um, Daddy's already claimed that one. It's coming home with him along with the van. This Ford Expedition, I am actually looking to get for Tim. Tim really likes big SUVs. This one has a towing package, so you know, pull trailers all day. This one has the 4.6, not the 5.4. Pretty good motor, it's a Triton 4.6. It's just pretty much the same thing that's in my, uh, it was in my Crown Vic in my town car, just newer generations. All the power windows work except for that passenger side, which is ironic because my manager's expedition, the same thing is wrong with hers, but the air works front and rear air and it's cold. I uh, don't exactly know the mileage on it. Should have checked when the battery was in it. There's a battery still in it, but I don't have the keys now. Runs and drives clean title, two wheel drive vehicle, 4.6 like I said, running boards, fully loaded, pretty nice, pretty nice. Like I said, I might, I might get that one for Tim, because it'd clean up really good. If you could find another door, that driver door is the only real damage. Then we've got a Corolla. Now guys, if you know Corollas, this is not my favorite generation, but it's still a decent generation. These motors are prone to spinning uh, rod bearing number three on cylinder three for some reason. Um, I, I couldn't tell you how many I've fucking seen do that. This one's got a tapping noise in the top end 
don't know if it's a valve or something, uh, but it is got a little tick in there. It's for sale, I think, for. If I can get the fucking door open. But look, someone took the driver's seats already, and that carpet's a little grungy. But with the driver's seats out, you got plenty of time to clean it. And yes, this is a five speed manual <laughs> with power windows, power door locks. It has cruise control on the five speed, no radio, AC works. And I think that this one has, um, I think it was 160,000 miles. And the driver door handles broke on the inside. Body's pretty straight, teeny little ding in the fender. Got some type of Corolla wheels on it. I don't even know what those are. They're not hubcaps though, they're actual wheels. So, decent looking tires. And like I said, the body's pretty straight. I like the burgundies. I like burgundies. So it's for sale. We might save it too if I can find front seats, but I'm already gonna go ahead and say that if I do save it, I'm just gonna go ahead and probably find another motor. I don't know how good this one is or how long it's gonna last. So Expedition, Corolla, let's keep moving. Gotta keep this moving. Uh, the Mitsubishi thingy right here. What is this, a Gallant? Diamante, Gallant something. Gallant. Runs, transmission is going bad. You can get transmissions for these cars for 150 bucks a piece, we have one. Got cold air. Front bumper's gone off of it. It looks like a basket case now, but the hood, it's not damaged really at all. It's the bumper is just off. You put a bumper on it, another headlight and a grill, two front wheels and a transmission. Good car. So we're going to take that one home, put a transmission in it. The Dodge van. Don't know what was wrong with it. The Buick Century. Um, I think this one runs and drives too. It just came in. Yeah, that's all I know about a Buick Century. 30. 100 looks like it popped a coolant hose or something spewed everywhere and I uh, got one of these old Cadillacs got a Osmobile uh, Dodge Grand Caravan that runs and drives uh, it's got a skip to it looks like someone took the seats out to use it as a work van and the driver door is fucked Ugh. okay moving on uh, Lincoln Town Car this is the executive series town car the hood is already off of it apparently hmm looks like someone's already been taking parts this one did run I drove it emphasis on did drive it but it looks like they're already taking parts I kind of wanted the whole thing just to have but once again looks like someone's beat me to it and parting it out too bad moving on to the Cadillac Eldorado check out these wheels Will needs these on his caddy and they probably fit to two-door Eldorado. I don't know that they made any others. Not very Cadillac savvy. Power windows, automatic, column shift, or console shift, I'm sorry. Uh, locking glove box. I think, I think that's a two-piece glove, no. Yeah, it is. You get the little hidden tray. It now doesn't close. There we go. Yeah. Sunroof car. This thing was loaded. Digital dash. Look at the glove box. I love, I love these glove boxes. Eh, doesn't latch. I don't love it anymore. Seats are super padded leather. And this camera is starting to tell me that it's dying. So if this camera cuts off, we'll switch over to the other camera, which is a terrible camera. But it'll have to get us through. We got Falcons. We got LTDs. We got uh, Fairmonts. Check out the Fairmont. I'd like to bring this guy home. Straight six and get this. Four speed car. Four speed inline six Fairmont. Got keys, no title. But here, you, after a certain age, you don't need a title anymore to register the vehicle. You just need a clean bill of sale, which we can give you if you want it. It'll pop off on starting fluid and that's about all I know. PT Loser, we got another one. Chilling over there, same color. Uh, got the old Nissan hard body. Need some carburetor work, I think. No. Yeah. I don't know what that one needs. CB7 Accord. Fucking piece of shit Civic. Got the Mercury Cougar that runs and drives. Five speed car. Air conditioning. Has a new timing belt and timing belt tensioner. Runs like a sewing machine, guys. Sewing machine. So let's try to get this quick before the camera does cut off. And if the camera cuts off, we'll film a part two. Because my I can't really still edit that great 
Uh, so this will be the end of this one, and then you can look for part two. This will be junkyard updates part one, then you can go to junkyard updates part two, or car count, something, I don't know what I'll do yet. Got a Saturn, it's shit. It's a Saturn. Uh, red, or PT loser again, just like the other one. Got this Infinity J30. Ugly little cars. Super ugly little cars. This leather though, fully loaded. Only got 150,000 miles. Only driven by an old lady in Pasadena. Just drove it to church on every other Sunday. Need a Grand Prix? We got you covered. EGs? We got a bunch of them. Parts cars? You know it. Burned up F-150s? We got them. Kick-ass wheels on the 3800 Grand Am? You know it. Let's see. Let's see. Town car that's halfway ripped apart now. We got them. <laughs> I actually need the AC compressor off one of these. <laughs> no, I can't use it off one of these. These are up on the top, my AC compressor's on the bottom because I got a 4.6. There's another town car over here. This one has a 4.6 in it. Yeah, it does. Check out this baby. Big, main, and lean. AC compressor's located way down there on the bottom. And I actually had this car running when it first came in. The guy drove it in, had a slipping transmission. And uh, full leather, power, everything worked. The air was cold, so I gotta get that fucking compressor somehow somehow we'll have to get down in there and get that thing out of there I really don't want to do and I'm sorry about the wind I can't do anything about it we're about to get hit by a storm it probably doesn't look like it on the camera I know I filmed the other day and uh, I was like look at that storm and then it looked like it was just perfectly fine outside on the camera but it is about the storm it's been thundering uh, try to pick this up before I run out of camera we might get it all in one clip who knows another freaking Buick another Dodge Caravan with a rebel yeller plate on the front look at that Woo! Yeah, the Saber this is the custom the Saber it looks like wrong wheel yes yeah, a custom full of scrap metal and an old washing machine then we got a Ford Ranger danger four-cylinder four-cylinder there you go, and here comes the rain. Oh, automatic. Look at that old wagon wheel. Alright, that pretty much should cover you guys on updates in the junkyard. That's almost everything we got, except for the Ford Ranger that I didn't mention. It's right here. Is this here, right here? I don't know, but here it is, if I didn't mention it. They probably just moved it. Also got a school bus. You need a school bus and a motorhome over there. You need motorhome parts, or a whole fucking motorhome. Ford Ranger also has the four cylinder, also has a five speed manual transmission. Yeah, it's probably junk. Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. We made it all in one piece. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. You need junkyard parts, let us know. You like these junkyard videos, let us know. We'll do more. Got all our hopes up. We're gonna find us a car. We're gonna put an air bag. Yeah. Hook him to the brakes last week. Put a good battery in. And I'm telling Eddie to go out, pull that thing out of gear and push it because he had to put his foot on the brake. And when he does, one whole piece. I should have got that other one. Yeah, I fixed that thing. Like one whole piece. And then he'll press the brake. Power will go to the airbag and boom. I don't know how we're gonna get that out of there. Alrighty guys, well they fumble with this. Thanks for watching, stay awesome. Yeah, and that's a, an update video on the junkyard as of June 29th. 29th, that's the car count. Here's the rain. Thanks for watching guys.